Philadelphia has been on the rise here. They're on an 11-0 run. Five of seven shooting. They've made three threes. Miami gets a timeout. Let's see if they have an answer. Seven minutes remaining in the third. Little jump shot. Jimmy Butler gets a shooter's bounce. Yeah, could be interesting here if Doc Rivers does pull the plug on some of his starters. As Butler goes strong and he's fouled. Embiid fouls him from behind. Ball up. House trying to guard Butler and again he gets to the line and one. Jimmy Butler wagging his finger. Well, he's great on the shot fake at the end of the dribble. Mm. They've had that going on in a Miami Heat uniform for a long time because Dwayne Wade was an absolute master. All of a sudden, they turn into the team that's making threes, and there is more spacing for Jimmy Butler to work, and all of those free throws that he can accumulate. Now you got a handful to deal with in one of the early rounds. Always an intriguing matchup when your season's on the line, as it was last season. Unfortunately for those teams who end up in that situation, now yeah, they had an 11-0 run earlier, and he went right back up 20, and now a 7-0 run. Butler finds Lowry. Nice setup for Max Strews. Kyle Lowry put it on a dime. Transferred from D2 to Lewis to DePaul, and has made his way into a starting role with the Heat. Offensive rebound. Kevin Love misses a three. Martin's got two offensive rebounds. Well, that's one of the hardest things in the zone is to identify people that you need to block out. Lowry probing. Love gives it up. Got to put one up. Struess contested. Oh! Max Struess with Embiid on him. A contested three is good. Every time down right now. Tough for anybody to get a stop at this point. Here's Lowry for three. Kyle Lowry back in Philly. Doesn't matter because the turnover difference in the threes by Miami. Tyler Hero trying to shake Niang. Oh, tough shot. He buries it. And a little stare down at the Philadelphia bench. Mild right calf strain will not return. Shake Milton loses the handle. Here comes Highsmith. He sets up Hero. Three-pointer no good. And Lowry with the rebound. Sixers have turned it over 13 times in this game. And for a team with a slow pace, that's a big number. Miami gets another three from Tyler Hero. 21 for Hero as he buries the triple. You know, we're down so much right now. There's just no sense leaving him out there and playing big minutes. Tyler Hero knocks down another three. Give him 24 for the game. Absolutely. And, and felt like he could play. Had the confidence in his health and his conditioning to be able to go out and play more. Oh, going up top. Lowry finds Caleb Martin. I think that's three. It could be three, so I maybe 31. Three. He's second in the NBA in charges drawn. And by the way, Eric Spolstra is 14 and four in his challenges, and they've all come in the fourth quarter as Lowry lays Your it in. Center his inside, and a guy like Kevin Love, who's not going to block shots. The Heat are last in the league as a team in shot blocks, but it allows Kevin Love to be the guy protecting the basket. Well, pointing to the Miami bench. Love's been a nice fit. Been a starter, but coming off the bench the last three games. And good finish inside, Caleb Martin. Remember the Martin twins with Nevada for Eric Musselman in the NCAA tournament. Another easy rim run. Defense optional right now, coach. Well, like the shows are probably <laughs> great. The problem with me is figuring out how to watch them on streaming, and my wife's even worse having electronic tickets on the plane, which I now do on every flight, Jared. I haven't printed a ticket in, geez, I, I since feel like that <laughs> flight last year. You changed my life. Uh, you know, you got to remember, Stan's been in that coaching world, Jared. He's, he's got people for that kind of stuff. Highsmith on the floor as well. McDaniels, Milton, House, Korkmaz, and Harrell for the Sixers. You take it when you can get it. And then a lopsided affair. You can so. imagine the Miami Heat without Udonis Haslam. And it's, it's good to know that he will remain with them in the front office. The Miami keeping themselves in the picture. Right now they are a game back of the Nets. 
what would be huge if you can jump into that six seed, but they're going to need some help. And Brooklyn knows their one went away or a Miami loss away from jumping straight into the playoffs. So that's where it is right now. Miami in that seven spot. 43 and 37. They get a road win, which have been hard to come by. Now 17 and 23 on the road. And for Philadelphia, they will just play it out their final two games and try to get healthy for the playoffs.